Hello, welcome and welcome back. I'm Martin and it's a fantastic Saturday morning. I have my good coffee here. And what I wanted to do this morning is just create a new template for myself in Logic. And so I thought this might be interesting even for some of you. So I just will make this short video on how to create a template in Logic and even give you some of my thoughts, what I think about the template and what you need it for. Okay, so if you like short videos like this and haven't subscribed to my channel yet, so please do me a favor, just hit that little subscribe button. It really means a lot to me. Thank you. Recently, things really start uh, moving for me and at the moment I'm working on five different projects. And what I did five or six months ago was just creating two templates. So I have my big epic template with over 50 tracks and then I had a smaller one just what I called the sketching orchestra but what I figured out now with these projects over the last two months that none of these two is near to perfect why because the projects between themselves they are so different they are so various so I made a short um, trailer, let's call it like this, for an Italian uh, website, the Divano Cosmico, and this one was based on electric guitars and effects and synth. Then I made the score relief rescore, which was 100% orchestral. At the moment, I'm having fun with another QTube trailer, the Tears of Steel, which will be hybrid, so I will need the synth, the drones and the orchestra. I'm working on another project here in Italy at the moment, uh, which the trailer that I'm making at the moment is based completely and limited to free libraries. That there won't be the perfect template, can't exist. The various projects are too different one from the other. So if you would write only orchestral music, then yes, do this orchestral template and there you are. But if you work on different projects and different musical styles even, the, the, the perfect template can't exist. Otherwise you might even risk to sound the same in every single music that you write. So what I want to do today, and this is why I thought I would make a short video about it, is just to create for me a sh really small sketching template, which even shouldn't have too much impact on the system, so I won't go for the big libraries where I can, but just use them with a really small impact with a little bit of everything in it. So there will be a little orchestra, a little wood, a little drone, a little um, percussion, just to have it quick to load up and to start and to work. And then obviously you will tweak around whilst you go in the one or the other direction, but at least you have something to start with quick. So let's do it. I have here just a small list that I thought um, of all the instruments that I would like to have in it and now I will show you how to do it in Logic. So all you have to do is just to start a new project. There you are, just with a blank empty page and then I will go for the first software instrument uh, which in this case for me it's always the piano. I need the piano to compose, to write music and I'm absolutely a big big fan of the piano sound that comes with the called Chrome. I really love it. It's so natural. So here you go for the, the audio interface you have. You choose the input and there you are. Love it, absolutely love it. And then one thing for me very important, name them. Name them from the beginning, otherwise it will become complicated. So I create the next track here, then obviously I go for contact and I choose a solo instrument. For me, I figured out I always need one solo instrument for sure. So I just go in this case here for the legato trumpet from Orchestral Essentials, absolutely nice. Okay, solo instrument done. Let's name it the solo trumpet in this case. Then I will go obviously for the strings so just, you know, a new track and I will remain with the orchestral essential strings. 
They're maybe not the best, but they're absolutely nice. And if you have a look at this, it's 26 megabytes. So they keep everything small, you know, low impact and you can really start and they're not too bad. Okay, um, one thing you saw now, switch on this little link button because then you will see uh, it will follow the track where you are. So now I just inverted them, that's not a big problem. So this is the solo trumpet and these now are my orchestral essentials long strings. workable absolutely workable then I will go for the orchestral essentials staccato strings so here we go on stack just choose the next patch there we are you can work with them you can absolutely work with them and then I go for a string legato patch, in this case Albion 1 string legato, um, one of the best string patches at least that I have, um, I'm absolutely happy with it. So strings legato, so this is the whole Disney sound. Okay, strings legato done. We go for the brass. So we copy the track, this one out, and I get back to my orchestral essentials, the brass long notes. So here even orchestral essentials, brass long. Um, I go for the next track, which is then just the Albion one brass shorts. Another reason why I mix the libraries is not only that the sound in my opinion gets better as you mix them because they are not so easy to identify in your music but it's even quicker than if I would like to go in the one or in the other direction because I have already many many different libraries involved in the whole thing so I have my brass shorts That's great. Now some epicness is needed. I take the Jaeger French horns. French horns. They are more than beautiful. They are just fantastic. So multi patches, brass, six French horns, legato. Okay, absolutely fantastic. Then I need woodwinds. I absolutely need woodwinds. So I go orchestral essentials, wood long. Uh, I'm a big, big fan of woodwinds. So woodwinds, long notes. There we are. Then the shorts, instead I prefer from Albion 1, Albion 1 would short, even, to be honest, for the small mistakes they are in there. This makes them so absolutely human that they're not just perfectly pitched. Let's load this one in. You hear this? There is an instrument which is slightly out of pitch, but this makes it interesting in my opinion. Fantastic, fantastic. Then, yes, um, I go directly for the um, hybrid stuff. 
So Jaeger, I will take a drone from Jaeger. The um, sound design in Jaeger is absolutely worth um, having a listen to. You see there are many, many, many patches and um, what's absolutely fantastic about them You see, that's the drones. They are tonal, so you can play with them. See? It's like... A... Okay, they are tonal. They are not only sounds. You can really use them in the music. Absolutely outstanding. Then I will go for the Albion one. Stevenson. Underrated, absolutely underrated. I'm a big, big, big fan of Albion 1 for one simple reason. Everybody knows how realistic and how good the orchestra sounds, but the sound design in this library, look at this. These are the folders, and in every folder you find then the patches. So it's absolutely infinite what you can find in there. So we have this sound. Okay, one patch, one patch, um, Albion 1, Albion 1, I don't say anything. Um, okay, um, we continue Albion 1 with the Brunel loops, another fantastic section within the um, Albion 1 library just to get a rhythmical underground really, really quick, look at this. These are the folders, and inside the folders, unlimited patches. So I just take um, one. You see, you have this underneath built very fast. Then what is missing? Um, percussion is missing. So I will go for um, the ferrum. In this case, the free edition, which is absolutely stunning, absolutely stunning. There it is. I mean, the sounds. You have even have here, if you want, the step sequencer. You have all the patterns you need, okay? So have a look at this, the Ferrum free edition. And then we just add one other rhythm group. Um, in this case, sorry, I closed it. I will go for the Albion one um, percussion. There it is, percussion ensemble. Albion one percussion, okay. Everything in it. Um, I just would like, obviously, then with my template to do something um, for me quite handy. I would like to have the piano roll already opened. And yes, I'm old school. I need the piano roll in white and black as the keys are white and black makes it easier for me. The automation, obviously, uh, already included. Even here, the display. I would like to have my own so I have all the information I need. And then if you want to take it to the next level, uh, then what you do is just you can divide the sections. Um, I will do it here. You create a new track and this new track you just say reorder it new to nothing. And then you can write here the name, for example, strings. And then just make it a little okay. Then here comes the brass, exact same story. Um, this you reorder it to nothing. You call it brass and then you get a little more um, order 
in your um, whole template here we make the same thing then where the, where the woodwind starts and then that's enough I think you got the idea woods okay and you see I have now my sections even divided that's my template that's the template that I will use for sure quite often now because I have everything in it the hybrid the percussion the orchestra everything ready to start and then yes it will evolve I won't make music with this template but I have a good starting point and it's low on impact what you need to do then is just here you save it as a template you know save as a template you give it a name in this case let's say the hybrid hybrid starter okay and then whenever you start a new project in logic you can say here you know new from template you close the other one and then you just to the hybrid starter let's get whatever I mean let, let's just make it to show you so this is something I had before this is not the one that we made and then if you say um, new from template and I go for my hybrid starter there you are this is exactly how we made it and you're ready to start to write music so I hope you liked it I hope it wasn't annoying and I would be absolutely interested in your opinion what do you think about it um, was it useful to you what what are your thoughts about templates do you use templates how do you use them maybe I can learn a lot from you just let me know in the comments if you haven't subscribed just subscribe there will be more videos like this coming up um, have a nice day have a nice weekend see you next time bye bye